Thank you for coming on Raccoon TV. Today, I'm gonna show you how to migrate your database from SQL 2012 to 2016. The concept is in the picture. Currently, a uh, database server SQL 2012 is installed on my Windows 10 computer. And I'm gonna back up this database to the SQL 2016, which is the right side of the picture. SQL 2016 is installed in the in the Windows Server 2012 R2. I'm going to jump to both nodes via RDP session. Today, I'm going to use a backup and restore method. So, if you want to know about the attach and detach method, uh, please click on the upper and right side link that I uploaded the video last time about the attach and detach database. Okay, I'm gonna back up and restore database. First, you need to be all of the backup file location and copy paste them to the new location and restore new database on the new SQL Server 2016. Let me open the SQL Management Studio. And I'm going to log in with the SQL Server ID and password. Click Databases. If the database instance is offline, then it, it's not able to back up. It will be gray out. So you need to make it online. So bring online. And then one more right click and task and back up. Then you can see this window. You just make sure uh, database name and full backup. The backup type should be full. And backup component should be databases. And then be all of the, the save location. Then click OK. Click OK one more. And then exit out to find backup files. The default backup file location is under C, under program files. And um, Microsoft SQL Server and MS SQL 11. MS SQL Server and MS SQL and backup folder. Click it and you can see task.bk. You make sure no, uh, the expansion name is uh, BAK. B -A -K. And then uh, you need to configure the permission configuration. So grant it for everyone permission add and then select and type down everyone check name and ok and then check the full control and ok then you can see everyone can edit or copy this file so now what I'm gonna do is go back to the management studio and right click test engine and task and take all from and check box no hit OK if don't make it take offline then the backup file is not gonna be copy and paste then I'm gonna go Windows Server 2012, which 
has the the SQL 2016 and open up the management studio tool here I already opened up the management tool before and I also made the same database instance name is test but one more step uh, we need to do before restore I'm gonna go back to original backup file location via RDP shared drive feature this folder has a original backup file and copy and then paste it to safe location on Windows 2012 server I'm gonna paste it to temp folder in Windows 2012 if you don't know how to share drive through RDP uh, please refer to the video upper link so I'm gonna restore database task and restore and database and then the error message you can just ignore um, click on device and triple dot add and find out the saved location under C temp folder then test backup file click OK OK now you can see databases that uh, you upload to the temp folder hit OK then the success message you can see and let's take a look any value uh, here you can see database information but also in previous SQL server which is a uh, SQL 2012 so far I've used the backup and restore with the database here is another option that you can restore database with a file or file group uh, almost the same as the last steps on the database instance and right click task restore and we just use a database option it here before but at this time let me show you using the file and file group option right right this click and here we are gonna select the existing database name and same source file oh no oh my bad you need to choose uh, from device option because we are restoring with the file not the database so you have to choose this and triple dot click add and find the the backup file on the temp folder it's the same file that we used before click OK and check those box and OK and you make sure check the override box because you're gonna override backup file on current existing database on management tool click OK 
Finally, uh, you completed the restore backup file on existing database. It has been overwrite on here. Okay, today I showed you uh, how to migrate SQL database using the backup and restore method and resolution about error messages when you move your backup file from existing server to new server. If you wonder what about SQL installation, click right side video. If you wonder what about SQL database migration using attach and detach, please click left side video. If this video helped today, please click the subscribe in the middle. Thank you today and see you later.